Welcome back to part two. This should be the last part in this series. I can't imagine it taking more than one more video. Uh, we're going to start right where we left off in the last video. So we want to build number four. We want to build this block, plot point, x graph, y graph, that will basically draw a dot exactly where that point should be. And it's going to use this new block that we created, the go to x graph block, uh, instead of the go to x, y. So let's get started. So I'm going to right click make a block and we're going to name this plot point x graph and that is going to take in an, uh, an input of x and then y graph which is going to take in an input of y so percentage sign y to create the parameters and I'm going to give them the type of numbers so that way no one can type in like a, a letter or some special character it's got to be a number and there we go now we're going to use our go to x graph, uh, y graph block that we created in the last video. And the reason we're using this instead of go to x, y is because go to x, y only works if we're using the normal snap stage coordinates, which is like between negative 240 up to positive 240 or plus 180 down to minus 180. But because our, our graphs are going to be like scaled differently, now we have to use this new, this new block. So we're going to take the X and the Y, and I think that should work um, if we plot the points correctly. So let me hit apply, let me hit OK, and let's test it out. Let's try going to, uh, let's see, plot points. I'm going to use the, so if, if you remember in the last video, I actually set the graph scale to this these values. So let me try going like close to the top right. So I'm going to try to get as close to the X max without going over. So th let me try 2010. And for the Y graph, let me choose uh, 0.4, which is going to be kind of close to the 0.5. So the block should end up up here somewhere in the top right of the stage, if this block works correctly. And it looks like it does. It, look, it went over to the right, and it's at 0.4, I guess. Okay, so good. We're, 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 it looks like it's working correctly. If I made this uh, 0.1, it should be a little bit lower, like towards the bottom right of the stage. There we go. So it looks like my blocks are working. I could actually test out one more one more date. Let's try 1930, and it should be here in the bottom left. Beautiful. Okay, so our plot point block works, or it basically takes the, it puts our sprite where it should be in order to plot a point. We haven't plotted any points yet. So what I want to do to plot a point is, let's see. I actually have to edit the block because I want to do it inside of this block. I want to abstract it away from the from the user. I want to, why don't we just stamp the, why don't we go to that location and then just stamp the sprite. So if I try that, let's see if this works. I, uh, no guarantees here. Um, let me plot point and now the stamp should be there. The, the sprite should be there. Perfect. Okay. So when I actually click on this block, the plot point block, it actually stamps the sprite. Let me try 2002 and then point two. And if I click the block, it should stamp it. So when I move the sprite, you could see that it did leave a stamp. It left a mark. But when you draw a graph, you don't really like to see these sprite looking things. You kind of want to see like a dot. So let's edit our sprite. Do we have a costume for that? Maybe not. Why don't we just draw our own costume? Let's draw a dot. And we'll use that. Uh, how do I draw a dot? There we go. Oops. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Let's just let's just clear this thing. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Um, and there we go. There's our dot. I might have to center it uh, at some point or somehow, but we'll see. Let me hit OK. And there is our dot. So let me try. Actually, I think I think it should be fine. Actually, let me try plotting uh, 2010 again. Uh, 0.45. Let's go a little bit higher. And when I click the plot point block, it leaves a dot exactly where it should. Perfect. Our plot point block works. And I just realized that I use stamp, and I don't know if you guys have learned about stamp yet. I can't remember actually if we've gotten to stamp, but if not, you just learned about it. So stamp works like that. It just drops like a copy of the sprite or like an, a, an image of the sprite, I guess, uh, right on the stage, right where it is. Uh, you can't move that. You can't move this around. So I can't move this stamp uh, image of it. So let's use these uh, dots instead to plot our points. And we are going to do that in number five. We're going to build a block graph data points 
that takes in all of these data points and plots dots for all of them, for each data point. And if you know me by now, you should know how much I love using a very specific block that I'm thinking of. Uh, graph data points, and it's going to take in a list. So uh, I'll just name that data. And it's going to be a command block. There we go. And data is going to be of type list. Great. And now for graph data points, and as I was mentioning before, my favorite block to use when I have to go through a list is the for each block. So I like using for each. And for each item of data, we're going to plot that point. We're going to plot the point. Um, and the x coordinate is going to be, well, let's look at it first. Let's look at the data just for a second. The x coordinate is going to be the first item in the list. And the y coordinate is going to be the second item in the list. So I should abstract, I should make blocks for this, but just for the interest of uh, time, because I know you've probably been watching uh, quite a few of these videos and you kind of just want to get to the point here. Uh, the first item of the, of the item that we're looking at and the second item of the item that we're looking at is going to be the y, the y coordinate. So the first item is x, the second item is y. And we could create a block to abstract this information. So that way someone reading this would understand what item one of item means. Because right now it's a little bit ambiguous. But we know what it means, we're smart, we get it. So I'm gonna hit apply and we're gonna test it out. Let's, um, let's go to the looks palette. We created this graph data points and that can take in our Derek data 1927 to 2015 stuff. All right, here comes the big moment of truth. Actually, let me clear this stage first. Uh, wait, why is this? Oh, the sprite's still here. Maybe I should, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hide the sprite. And that's going to be kind of crazy. I'm gonna clear it, I'm gonna hide the sprite. And what I'm gonna do is in my plot points, so let me uh, open up plot points, I'm going to show the sprite and then hide it. So I'm doing this, so that I can not see the sprite wherever it is originally. So there, I clear, I clear the stage, I hid the sprite, and now when I do plot points, when graph data points goes through all my points, it's gonna show the sprite, stamp it, and make it disappear. So we're not gonna see it after, uh, after it plots them all. Uh, moment of truth, here we go. Beautiful, look at that. Uh, maybe my dots or my points are a little bit too thick, but, um, but yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll go with this, we'll use this. This is definitely usable. And now it says here that uh, for the data on the next page, you will want to make them separate. Um, oh, it says you will want to connect the points. Wait, do we want to connect the points or not? Finally build graph data points to make a dot at every data point. For this graph, you will want the points connected. Okay, so we want to connect the points. We don't want to just draw the points. So I'm gonna to have to change my, uh, my block there. Actually, do I? Do I have to do that? Maybe not. Maybe what I can do is in between every single item, I just move to the next item. Oh, do I really want to do that though? Let me think. You know what? I guess what we have to do is lift up or we should put the pen down in the beginning when we graph the data points and that might work. So we're, we're gonna put the pen down at the beginning of graph data points. We're gonna plot the point. Actually, we're never gonna lift it up. This might work. Um, yeah, this is gonna, this should work because it'll move, it'll, it'll keep the pen down as it's moving, as it's going from point to point. Um, I think, let me just double check to make sure that I never lift, yeah, I never lift up the pen. All I do is really hide it and show it, but I never lift it up. So this might work. I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, but let's see if this works. Let's um, let's clear our stage, let's hide the, uh, the sprite. Let's try it one more time. Okay, it kind of works. Uh, I don't know why it just drew this huge line going from like the first to the last point. So I think the issue might be that when it finishes drawing a graph, when I start drawing the next graph, or if I draw the same graph over again, it goes from the last point all the way back to the first point before it starts. So let me just make sure that I lift up the pen at the end of all of this. 
and that should fix it. That should fix this bug here. So as I'm plotting each point, I am going, I am connecting all the points. But when I'm done, when I'm done with all the points, I lift up the pen so that when I start it up again, it's not going to have the pen down. I think this should work. So let me just clear the stage, hide the sprite. And when I run it, moment of truth, nope, it does not work. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that happening? It looks like it's drawing the, the, the bar first. That is so strange. Now, is it possible that one of my data points uh, is like a little bit messed up? Let's see. 1928, 1930, no. It doesn't look like it ever, like there's a, it doesn't look like there's any mix up here. So what I'm going to try to do is, let me try debugging this by having it say something uh, in between. Let me just say hello for two seconds. So it's going to put the pen down Oh, you know what? We might want to put the pen down after we plot the point, the first point. But then that that's going to be tough because we're going to keep having to put the pen down even though it's already down. But maybe that's the way to do it because otherwise it will put the pen down wherever it is and then move to the first item. So let me actually try that. I know this might not be the cleanest looking code, but I think this might work. It's kind of a hack though. Uh, let's clear the stage and let's try it one more time. There we go. Okay, so the issue was, and if I keep rerunning it, it's not going to uh, draw that line anymore. So the issue was when I put the pen down first, uh, no matter where it was, no matter where the sprite was, it always drew that first line all the way across. So it was drawing a line from the from the end point to the beginning for some reason. Uh, so this works. I don't really like it because it keeps putting the pen down even though the pen is already down. But maybe you guys can figure out a solution and share it in the comments below for uh, for solving this problem. I am sure if I if I stopped for like you know a few minutes and just thought about it, I could figure out another way. But since I'm doing this on the fly, I kind of just want to like you know I want you guys to see that sometimes I get stuck and sometimes I have to hack together a solution that might not be perfect or optimal, but this works. And sometimes just getting it to work is something to be proud of or be happy about. So I'm happy with this so far, and it'll be pretty easy to remove this line just by lifting up the pens or just by not having the pen down at all. Uh, so that is an easy way to uh, to change this feature. And last thing I got to do is just save my work, number six. And it draws my, my data. And if you want, if there's time for number seven, you can have a Boolean in your block that determines whether they should be connected or not. All right, that's going to do it for me for page two. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on page three.